All right, all right, all right. Welcome to a new game called Sender Unknown, The Woods. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about Sender Unknown. I know it's, you know, it's a progressive story type game. Uh, I think we're helping somebody. I don't know. I don't know. But um, just starting off, we, we got, got a bunch of messages already and we can already, we can already start replying so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and begin let's see what the stats so we have trust intelligent logic willpower empathy these are your stats they go up and down in each category depending on how you respond to questions your stats can also affect whether or not a choice you pick succeeds for example you might try to convince characters to do something and find they don't listen if that's the case, check your stats. Choices you make early in the game can even affect how the story ends. Interesting. All right. So, man, what what what, what kind of stats should we have the most? So you're you're honest and helpful, and gosh darn it, people trust you. So that's the trust stat. Oh, get back up there. Intelligence. You're dropping knowledge bombs left, right, and center. Logic. You can figure out anything. It's like superpower. Willpower. You resist temptations and are immune to manipulation. And empathy. Do you feel all the feelings or are you kind of a douche? <laughs> Alright. So the game's storyline progresses in real time. That means characters sometimes need to sleep, travel, or perform mundane actions offline. During these moments, the game will be paused for you, so you can go about your business as usual. But as soon as there's something new to report, you'll get notifications to come back to the game. Okay? Sounds great. Kind of like, kind of like similar to Help Annie, right? Yeah. So, uh, yes, I've played this type of game before. And yes, can you repeat? Yeah, I, I, yes, yes. I've, I've played this type of game before. We hope you enjoy the game. Yes, thank you. Welcome to Chatter. You can chat with anyone in the world anytime. You can send them photos too. Interesting. First, let's set up your screen name. As we all know, it's tongue-tied. Yes. Now you're ready to connect with someone. Okay. Let's see who wants to chat. Okay, so notifications. Center unknown. The, the woods is an interactive story. Notifications are a part of the experience, but they can be consolidated. Recommended for Apple Watch. I don't really need consolidated. Hmm. Would you like to receive each notification one at a time, or would you prefer to receive fewer notifications? You can edit this choice at any time in the settings menu. We've pre-selected individual notifications. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I don't know. Urgent chat request from sender unknown. Let's go ahead and accept. Let's see what's going on. Anybody? Yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody there? Yes. Yes, I am. I am, but I just log. I, I, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, what did we get? So we just got trust. So we got we got some trust. I'm in round, damn auto, I'm, I'm in trouble. So autocorrect, interesting. I need your help. Okay, how can I help? I thought Chatter was an app for random texting. How can I help? I don't know where to begin, tongue tied. Can I call you that? The app tells me tongue tied, is that your name? Of course it is. Of course my name's tongue tied. I think we just got more trust. Yeah, we got some more trust. I'm okay. I'm more. Oh, Morgan. Sorry, autocorrect again. I don't know what to do. I'm trapped in an RV and there's a party. Sorry, still getting the hang of this crappy keyboard. Definitely not a party. I'm in a pack. There's a pack of wolves surrounding me. Really? Wolves? What was that? Willpower. Got some willpower there. I enjoy your sarcasm, tongue tied. Believe me, I wish there was just a fair. Uh, I, I wish it was just a fairy tale. I kind of don't believe it myself, except that I have to since I'm in it. Every time I pinch myself, it hurts, which means this isn't make believe. 
but maybe you can help me find a happy ending because I'm seriously freaking out. These wolves look hungry and angry. Definitely hangry. <laughs> Please help me. Of course, of course I will help you. This is, this is all kind of hard to believe. I'm having trouble with this. I'm not sure I can trust you. Well, that's all the same thing. This is hard. It's all kind of hard to believe. Got a little bit more willpower there. You need a photo? Yeah, let's see a photo. Let's see. Prove yourself. Prove that there's wolves. Hangry wolves. Chatter allows to send photos. That would definitely help with the trust thing here. Besides, I bet it's hard to grasp the gravity of my situation without a visual. I'm just not sure the camera on this piece of junk works. The microphone is busted, which is why I can't call anyone for help, in case you were wondering. But maybe we'll get lucky. Hang on while I try the camera. Sender unknown is busy. I wonder how long that's going to take. It doesn't give me a time limit. That's the thing. It's not giving me a time limit. Hmm. I wonder how long that will take. So we did a little, a little fast forward work there. Let's see where we're at. It works. I took a photo of the wolves. I'll send it to you. Open the attachment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them wolves are trying to get in. That's a nice picture. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good picture. But yeah, them wolves are trying to get in. Oh, boy. So now you know this is no prank. The wolves are real. So are their teeth. Oh, God. No. Are you okay? What now? I believe you what can I do what can I do oh we got some more trust we're up 30% in trust 10% willpower this is bad this can't be happening one of the wolves he's like the pack leader I guess it's chewing through the RV oh no can you scare him off somehow what did we just get that time we got some logic is there something else you can use to scare off the wolves? That's a great idea, Tongue Tied. There's a pile of crap. Whoa, what is this? Don't get distracted. Why ask me? I can't hear what's going on there. What is what? What, what is what? I don't understand. It should be broken. I mean, the horn's busted. Why is this working? And who turned it on? What are you talking about? Ours is not to ask why. Why Why is what on? Tell, just, just damn, tell me. What do we got there? We got a little bit of empathy. A little bit of empathy. Don't keep me in suspense here. I was talking about the radio and the RV. It's working, sort of. Only one channel works. Wait, that's not right. All the channels work, but they only broadcast one station. Interesting. If you can call this a station. What's the call number? There isn't one. What's coming through the radio isn't music. Oh. It's words. Not rapid fire DJ banter, you mind you. <laughs> this guy sounds like he'd call you up just to breathe into the mouthpiece. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. I've tried every channel and it's all the same. It's making the hair on the back of my neck stand up tongue-tied. I like that saying. Does that actually happen? I've heard that really happens. I've heard that. I'm pretty sure that actually happens. You, I, I, hell, I've, I've felt it before where the, the hair on the back of your neck stands. You get like the goosebumps and stuff. Ooh. I can assure you hair standing on the back of your neck is a real thing. But you know what's really creepy? Lay it on me. This guy, know my, the guy knows my friends. They're missing, by the way. I haven't seen them since I was noxed. Ah, knocked. Knocked out last night. Gotcha. The stalker's voice on the radio is using their names. Ooh. So the stalker has has them, maybe? He's saying, do you miss Chris? What about Candace? And there's more. Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> do go on. I don't know if this crazy or some kind of researcher or both, but he's spouting words that definitely take this in a direction of mad scientist. Quote, did you know that Candace has Neanderthal in her genetic line? I bet you didn't. I didn't, as it turns out. Then this. Too bad her lineage is about to end, and he laughs maniacally at his own joke. 
as only a villain would. Oh no. And jam psycho. And psychopath. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. <laughs> you're you're in something. You're in you're in something right now. Horror movie, horror game. I just hope I'm not listed in the credits as friend number one or number two. I guess that would be worse. <laughs> Crap. Did I mention the duct tape window? A couple times. That No, no you didn't. I saw the duct tape window in the picture, but she didn't mention it. The wolf is chewing through it. I don't have much time. Wait, what the... My, my friendly radio announcer just changed his tune. What? Sounds like a poem or song lyrics. But at least he's not singing. That would make it worse. Text it to me. It's hard to follow. I think it's... I think it's a riddle. Okay. I'm not good at these. The riddle is some kind of static Y, but I think I'm getting it. It helps that he keeps repeating the riddle over and over. That makes it creepier, but at least I can get it. Damn it. I can see Wolfenstein's nose through the tape. I've got to patch it up fast. Judging by the number of uses I see for the sticky stuff in, in this RV, my friend, my friend used to fix up the cup holder, by the way. There's bound to be a roll, of some, roll around here somewhere. I'll be back in a bit, if I'm still alive. Thanks for your help, tongue-tied. I'll be here when you get back. Glad to help. I, you know, I'll, I'll be here when you get back. Sender unknown is unavailable. But it doesn't tell me... It doesn't tell me how long they're going to be gone for. That's the unfortunate thing. All right, she's back. There, I worked some duct tape magic on the window. That should hold off the Hound of Berksville for a while. Now that we can focus on the riddle, I'm not sure what it means, but it sounds like a clue. I think the riddle... Man is testing me. I hope you're good at these. Here it is. What sparks in the night and marks territory or and marks territory in fright. What sparks in the night and marks territory in fright. Can you solve it? Of course I can. I'm a genius. Haven't you known? Don't you know yet? Tongue Tide's a genius. I'm so glad what are you thinking? He wants you to be able to solve this. It's a riddle with an answer, right? And this is a test, right? Yeah, he, I mean, he wants you to be able to solve it, right? Something in RV will drive the wolves away. There's something in the RV that'll work. The answer has to be right there in the RV. Right, so the answer has to be somewhere in the RV. That's brilliant. Of course it is. I'm a genius. Of course it, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> There's a pile of junk back here, but nothing jumping out at me. But then I hardly ever drive. I live in the city and take the subway to every day. So I'm not used to plain old driving, let alone wild animals and woods. I'll take a photo and maybe you can spot something that'll work. Hang on a sec. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely find it. Okay, here you go. Open the attachment. I can find it. Ooh, you got an axe. You got some flares. Some 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 wire cables. It looks like oil, like a jug of oil. Some boots. You know what though? I I think the flares. You know what sparks at night? The flares. It marks territory and fright. You can use the flares to mark, like like if you're like broke down on the side of the road or something like that. So I think it's the flares. I'm almost certain. Almost certain it's the flares. Yeah. Seems to fit the riddle, too. That's right. I'm a genius. The flares spark, and they mark where you are when you break down on the side of the road. Right! I said that! I'm a genius! Hope this works, Tongue Tie. Please, please hope I don't get eaten. Well, I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. Hopefully Morgan reaches back out to us. Hopefully she's not completely consumed by the wolves. Hopefully we can help find Morgan's friends and find this mad scientist, a psychopath that's holding her friends.
so far, this is pretty interesting, and and hopefully we can get more. Like maybe we'll get more senders, maybe more unknown senders reaching out to us and and, and asking for help. It's like this is pretty cool. Like the and then the the, the pictures are, are are nice. If you guys are enjoying Sender Unknown, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join this amazing tongue tied community. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.